This is a video preview for the Lenovo ThinkPad T540P laptop for use in 2022, shot in August. So, this has a full-size keyboard layout, 15.6, 1366 by 768 HD display. On the side I.O., we have mini display port with audio, VGA port, a always-on USB port, USB 3.0, smart card reader, multi-card reader, microphone, and headphone input. And we have another USB 2.0, USB 3.0, ECD slash uh, DVD RW drive. Uh, optional PCIe expansion slot. RJ45 Ethernet port. Uh, further grills for the fan, that's the rectangle uh, power plug. And here we have an example of the two-tier backlit keyboard. Of course, there's the red trackpad, characteristic of the ThinkPad experience. And with a SATA 3 solid-state drive installed, you can get to surfing the net very fast. Uh, with this one, you can actually install either 2.5 inch solid state drive or hard drive and also have the option of an M.2 SATA 3 42 uh, millimeter SSD, which I do have installed in my personal device. Here's an example of doing some dual display, multitasking, watching videos and doing some work. Uh, I'm just demonstrating in WordPad, but you can use a myriad of different uh, Office suites like Office 365, LibreOffice, etc. And you can make use of that optical drive by watching DVDs. I'm using VLC Media Player on this one. And just continuing to work away. Uh, you can use a lot of video editing software. The Movavi Video Suite that I personally use to edit videos runs fine on this laptop. Here I have my gaming SSD hooked up to a USB 3.0 port. And this is an example of Left 4 Dead 2. So I was able to play this on uh, you know, normal to high settings and average uh, 80 to just over 100 frames per second, depending on how I adjusted the settings. Uh, this game is totally playable and applicable to the Intel HD 4600 graphics. This one is a little more graphically intense. It's Tomb Raider 2013, and this is one of the end scenes with a lot going on, and I was still averaging 40 to just about 60 frames per second on lower graphics settings. All right, so I just wanted to go over some of the upgrades that you can do with the RT 540p. Uh, the laptop on the right here is my own personal laptop that I've been using for a little while now. And right here is a base model that I just got from the government surplus auction that I've cleaned up and installed the SSD into. So, uh, well, the main difference you can see now is that this is running Windows 10 Pro 64-bit and this is running Windows 11 Pro 64-bit. Um, the other uh, main difference is the touchpad. So on mine, um, you can actually install a three-point touchpad. That's a little more intuitive and characteristic of the W Series laptop of this generation. Um, otherwise, that uh, glass style touchpad is not too bad at all. But I do prefer having the um, other buttons as an option. So this one is running an Intel Core i5. Dash 4300M CPU, which is a dual core, so two core, four thread i5, fourth generation Intel CPU. And this one is upgraded to an Intel Core i7 Dash 4800MQ CPU, which is four cores and eight threads at 2.7 gigahertz. And this one I've also installed um, 16 gigabytes of DDR3 1600 megahertz RAM. This one is running eight gigabytes of DDR3 1600 megahertz RAM. And uh, the huge difference 
if you're able to do this, if you can get your hands on an appropriate display panel. Um, on my personal laptop, I have a 3K um, display panel installed. And I was lucky I was able to find this off of uh, somebody I was speaking with online and they gave me a pretty good deal. So the resolution on this is 2880 by 1620. Um, as opposed to 1366 by 768, um, which is more standard for the HD display on the base model. Um, you can also get a 1920 by 1080 P display, which is really good too. Uh, the 3K panel is pretty hard to beat once you get it though. So I just wanted to go over some of the upgrades and modifications that you can do on a T540P. Um, even though this one's upgraded quite a bit more, you can still do, like if I was using this one, my experience probably wouldn't be that different because um, just using it for light work stuff. Uh, the main difference is just the added speed and uh, core count on the CPU allows for further productivity. Um, yeah. And I can do uh, more at once, I guess. So the one limitation is the integrated graphics. They're both still running Intel HD 4600, um, which as you saw before, you can still run some games. Uh, the display looks fine, etc. But that's one thing you won't be able to upgrade, of course, because it's soldered onto the motherboard and characteristic of laptops is not like adding a uh, graphics card like a desktop. So anyways, I've got some videos that I'll try to link to in the description below for how I installed the panel. And I don't think I have the CPU video up yet, but I'll upload that eventually. Um, otherwise, it's fairly easy to swap the CPU on these things. Um, and you have a couple of different options. I just have fun upgrading as much as I can. If you've done something similar to your T540P, leave a comment below or let me know what you plan to do or if you're trying to source parts and maybe I can help you out. Thanks a lot for watching and have a nice day.